I'm Jessica Streets and I'm the WVU Extension Agent in Tucker County. I'm Jody Carpenter. I'm the agent in Barber and Randolph County. And today we're going to talk to you guys a little bit about how to take a soil sample, why it's important, and then completing the form. So it's important to soil <laughs> test um, because you can get an accurate analysis of your soil so you don't over fertilize or under fertilize. Um, so in that aspect it can save you money. Now some of the tools that you'll need to take your soil sample is a soil probe. If you don't have access to a probe, um, your local county extension office usually has some that they can lend out or you can use a spade. And then a bucket. So your bucket can be a plastic, ice cream tub, as long as it is something that is not galvanized metal because that will leach into your sample. When sampling your soil, be sure to avoid wet areas um, and areas of different terrain. So in a garden setting, um, if you have multiple crops, you might want to split that up and send in multiple samples. If you have a problem area in your garden, sample that soil separate so you can get an accurate analysis of that. So in a pasture or hay field where you have greater than 10 acres in one place, we're gonna wanna split that field. By splitting the field into different sections, you're gonna allow yourself to have a more accurate reading for that particular pasture. When taking a soil sample in a garden, you wanna insert your probe four to six inches into the ground. If you're taking it in a lawn, it's two to four inches. When taking your sample, make sure that you are going in a zigzag or making a W. That way you get an accurate, equal representation of the whole area that you're sampling. So after taking each sample, be sure to remove the debris, grass, or green matter that's at the top and place your sample into your bucket. After you have, in this area, we took six core samples. So now we're going to let it dry and then we are going to mix our sample together. When mailing in your sample, you only need about a cup of the soil that was collected. Now, moving on to how to fill out the form. Completing your soil submission form is simple and easy. Be sure to complete your form to its entirety by including your county, primary email address, your sample ID, your area measurement, your crop, soil, and texture tillage codes. Your crop code, your tillage code, and your texture code can all be found on the back of the form. Be sure to select the crop code that best selects your production needs. If you have any questions about taking a soil sample or how to interpret your results, contact your local county extension office. <laughs>